hello everybody welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars adventure in Factorio okay so where do we leave off well I guess um, I haven't been explaining things too well um, I was talking to Lushable Echo about that and he tells me I should try and explain more about the game but what I'm doing exactly here so uh, basically, my understanding of the game is, is there's a tutorial that comes with the game, of course, and which kind of goes through the basics of everything from harvesting with these guys here uh, down to to kind of inserting stuff into here for fuel for the steam engine. So it kind of teaches you electricity, how to wire up the electricity using these as wires. Uh, if I right left click on these, it kind of gives me what the the power con consumption is and the production and whatnot and if we get close to uh, the maximum or not and the accumulators I guess are like batteries uh, let's see here so basically from there there's a tech tree that is in this game here and there's different technologies that you can research which unlock different abilities uh, so for example let's take a look through here so so this tool bed is just like a research it's just like a one-time thing so it, yeah it's a little bit different it's like equipment but for example here it allows see advanced material processing too so I need to research this technology which is which handles advanced material processing uh, which is a steel furnace so it tells you smelting speed is two I guess the the stone furnaces that we have um, have a smelting speed of one, I believe. I think this is for making steel as well. So then there's advanced material processing too, which will probably give us a better upgraded version of the steel furnace. Uh, for example, armor crafting too. See heavy armor. We need 100 copper plate and 50 steel plates to make that. So yeah, see we could research this, but then I would need steel processing. And so there's prerequisites here that you need to be able to research, All right? So for example, we need electronics, which is right up here, which we have to research. Um, this, this requires oil processing, which is, oh, wow, I'm surprised we have that. Holy crap. Oh, because I guess it's the green. It's, the, it's like the next level up, next tier. Um, there's tiers of technology. So for example, this is a tier one technology because you only need the science packs. Uh, well, I, I'm going to call them tiers because that's what it's like to me. Here, this is like another tier that now you need to create these science packs. Uh, to create science packs, if we go E for inventory, basically you need transporter belts and inserters. So this is why when you do the automation, you're automating things to process this. Like, for example, here I have this, uh, there's this iron deposit here with uh, electric mining drills. Originally, like in the first episode you saw, there was electric mining drills, or not electric, there was the, uh, the uh, these guys, uh, the burner mining drills, which uh, yeah, I guess you have to place on a resource. So for example, these guys, uh, wrong button, Q. <laughs> um, yeah, see, so you can you put fuel in this and it will it, it will process iron ore out of the ground um, to pick up things to do things so for example like I just picked that unit up I, I right click on it and it picks it up if I want to place things I can left click them down so let's put one here okay good just some your basic defenses uh, I keep hitting escape for some reason I think I'm used to that in other games so let's just see here, let's put some uh, bullets into this guy. Let's see how many bullets are made. So here, oh, okay, so that's just researched electronics, which I didn't realize we were doing that. I guess in the top right hand corner it tells you. Uh, so what can we do next? Those, see, it just uses the science pack one. And see, it's gonna give me assembly machine with two. So craft items require up to four ingredients. So, uh, for example, my thing I can create now, because we researched automation. Where are we? What if it tells us, ah, here we go. So these are what we have. Good, I'm glad it shows us. 
So for example, see automation. So researching this gave me assembly machines, which we used to create this bullet assembler here and to store it into a box. And so as long as I have this box, it will create the stack maximum and I'll leave it in the box. Once it creates this maximum, that's it, game over. It stops loading, this stops producing, and this it stops this from taking this. And so we're kind of you know doing that chain. Here you'll know you'll notice all the the iron goes to the one side. Well to fix that we would have to put in a splitter. That's why I researched the splitter. Is for exactly this purpose. Um, I'm gonna have to set up some sort of copper processing where I can turn this copper here into other things like wire and cabling and all that stuff to create more research pods um, which then allow you to get into the higher technologies to do the oil processing laser technology and all that other crazy fun stuff so for example why is the music stopping I don't understand I guess it's pausing uh, there's like the railway here um, yeah, maybe. Okay, so you go into there and it pauses. That's such a, a weird behavior. Uh, okay, what was I explaining? Yeah, so it doesn't pause there, but it pauses here in the research. Interesting. Okay, that's very distracting. I find this game very distracting. Um, inserted item stack size. So, yeah, so I have no idea what any of this stuff does. It looks like you can have robots. Maybe let's go through all this stuff just to bore you. <laughs> so here we have key technology for large scale production. So just better assembling machines. I imagine there's a tier three one here, right here. Key technology for large scale production. So yeah, see, so there's another um, your blue packs. All right, so there's four different kinds, or one, two, three different kinds so far. Energy shields. Okay, anyways. So then after three, is that it? Looks like there's no more gears, okay. So then there's advanced electronics, which is upgraded, which allows, you gets into like the advanced circuits, and looks like wires and smart chests are cool. Uh, you can program them with the wires and then you can set conditions to them. And based on the conditions, it will create, it will you know, allow it to be uh, inserted into her. So for example, say I was you know, using this to create, your bullets, but I want it to stop at 50 bullets instead of the full stack. Then I can do that with this. Uh, you would just you put a red wire from the pole to the device, and then and the smart chest. Voila! It's actually pretty freaking cool. This guy we haven't really used much. Let's fill him up. Uh, these are stone. We got still plenty of stone, and we got gun turrets here, and I think they all have. A certain amount of bullets and okay, now the reason I put defenses up is because in the tutorial um, you kind of work through you killing aliens I guess there's uh, creatures on here on this planet so these little red things um, are colonies and they grow grow and grow and I think they expand at some point I'm not sure on that I guess we'll have to see but uh, anyways, so we need to figure out some more iron and I don't see very much iron. And these are the settings I had on the normal settings. So I might be tweaking them. I'm not too sure. So we might be restarting a game soon. But anyways, we'll use this as a learning game. We'll you keep using the radar. Uh, the reason I built the radar is it slowly expands this out as you just saw. And what the, you know, that will allow us to do is hopefully we'll spot some iron, which then we'll have to fight through or whatever, I don't care. Uh, we'll have to get there so that way we can process that and bring it back here maybe. I keep wanting to hit that escape, I wonder why. Uh, how do you get out of this? Okay, there we go. So yeah, so let's start a new research. Uh, that's what we were going to look at. I think I've explained pretty much. Uh, there's the stuff with the belts and all that. I can I'm going to talk about here in a moment. Um, I'll explain how that works. I'll explain why I set up the furnaces the way I did. 
uh, down here, and, you know, the automation for, for that, just so you can understand kind of the thought process. Maybe I'm not talking out loud enough uh, to record here. So I know uh, to finish the game, I think we have to get like rocketry. Fireballs. There's a way to finish the game. Um, and to finish the game is to get, I think there's a certain technology you have to get. I think it's these rocketry, explosive rocketry. Because I believe that's that's how you get, um, yeah, I think that's how you get like your main colonies to come down to the planet to start colonization. Or kind of like a, a force to go down on the planet and to start the process and clear an area, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, so anyways, let's pick our next technology. Um, I want to use something that's going to have all the red packs uh, since we've got a lot of those guys. Um, we're going to need to think about creating these green guys, so maybe we'll work on that today a little bit. I'm kind of watching the clock on this one, uh, so forgive me if it goes over. Um, I'm going to try and shoot for a half hour. I believe I've been in this for roughly 10 minutes, so... So now with my clock, I'll, I'll keep track. Sure, as unprofessional as that may be. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, it's so funny. Sometimes you watch some YouTubers out there, and they're so professional. And, you know, you know, yeah, they got a lot of, of uh, subscribers, but I don't know, man. That's For me, that's not what this is about. This is about playing these games and showing the footage. Because uh, usually what I do is I sit down, I'll sit down, maybe I'll make this because it uses steel and copper plates. Yeah, let's do this. It'll be better armor, allow us to survive better in the combat. Uh, I have steel armor already, or iron armor. Let's see, what happens if you take it off? Is there a character change? No, oh, it looks the same. I look like a chick almost too. And if I wear it, uh, no, nothing changes there. It's interesting. Um, here we okay so basically automation um, I guess the point of the game is to get automation and to go further and further further because um, I guess this higher advanced technologies that you can do and you can use stuff to build with and so so like automobilism you can build a car right and with the car well you probably need to build so there's engine units, steel plates, iron plates. So there's probably something in here that allows you to build your engine units. And, uh, so yeah, so let's uh, see here, engine. See, it allows you to build engine units, which will lead to the automobilism. Once we research that, then we can build the car. Because there's probably, it probably unlocks the components to build the car. Because uh, it's all just seems like you, so you, you create, you know, like the steel, and you create the engines with with the steel, and then eventually you create the car with those materials. So it's kind of like there's a chain that occurs, and so to get to these more advanced things, you almost need to create an automated system. And that's what these belts are about, and these miners. So this miner is extracting, and it's coming down this, and this is smelting. And as you can see, these two smelters aren't used as much as these top ones. See these always use more fuel than the bottom ones and that is due to the fact that you, you only need a bank of three on each side. Um, I think if you had a fourth one um, it they would rarely be used. So anyways here I have the iron being mined and it's coming down and these guys are picking it up uh, which is then going into here to smelt down, which then uh, goes down here into a conveyor, which is into a box. Now this box is set to fill up at 200, and basically once this fills up and is full, then it'll fill up these plates in here. See, so there's a backup here, as you can tell. So if I can actually take some plates here, take a couple hundred, and we're back in business. So there's a backlog because we have a backlog of research. Because uh, we only have one of these guys doing research or taking the research. So how about we add another guy, another lab to our fun town here. 
and so then over here it's the same thing with the copper just I have a line where it goes here it fills up in here so I can take from it and then it goes down the stream I like this idea of putting the stuff into boxes and taking it for boxes as access points to collect them some people run around and you can actually run around and pick them up from the ground by pushing the F and you can pick them up and it'll start the process again and I'll have more items I can also go F and loop, pick that up and see it starts the process again um, I said um again ah, I keep trying to keep track of that stuff but ah anyways I'll just be more aware uh, so <laughs> caught myself there so here what we have is this making gears so we have the steel plates that are processed by this coming down into here to be taken and to put into the assembler which will make gears which will then in turn make these guys the red packs and voila okay and so now now we're I, th I think I've explained now here this is fuel so what the, all this is is for fuel for this stuff so I had the idea of taking this coal bring it over here this way and to supply these guys with with coal so because I don't want to do it by hand anymore I'm kind of tired of that and we're going to do that here I have a research lab that I wanted to build to place basically we'll put the lab here okay we'll put the lab here and then what will we do we have to put an inserter so we should make those guys by hand one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I want to, I'm gonna have to make circuits I guess by factory so we'll probably take it from the copper for this thing here for the science packs but what do we need for green packs we need transport belt and an inserter yeah I don't know I find this game complicated a little bit maybe I have a simple brain maybe I don't know who knows but anyways we will carry on so now I have two research facilities researching this so we basically doubled how much research we create and so this will be a little bit faster which is kind of cool we'll be using more packs which will be using more steel which in turn will continue with this which means I need to figure out oh I think I can make long inserters yeah long hand and fast inserter that's for speed so I can use this stuff on things like these boxes to be quick so let's do so six because I have six of these guys I need to make six of this one two three four five six okay uh, once they're made so that second tool belt would actually be a good idea uh, so like that technology here where we can create another tool belt that will probably be this will probably be uh, for sure something to to choose so let's see how we can work with this stuff I have it showing me the lines because I want to see the information so I guess yeah I guess we could put it I guess we can put it like this uh -huh. I wonder if I can put it like that oh no 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 I just ruined this okay okay so there has to be a way of filling these up so maybe what we'll do maybe I'll, I'll dismantle some of this stuff pick that up, pick that up, like that, pick that let's dismantle this stuff because we're going to have to redo the way this is all positioned so let's start with the splitters so what this splitter will do and maybe we'll make two three four let's make a few of them so what this does is say I want it to make these plates on both sides right well I think I can place the splitter I do have to do this and then like that oh, okay now what this thing should do I believe is it should put plates on both sides 
once this starts to move again. Maybe if I pick it up here. Or maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it's still only on the one side. Okay, so let's do um, automation two, and then we'll start into the military stuff. Since we're not being attacked, uh, that's okay. Uh, looks like here there's. Oh, okay, I see. It's interesting how it's splitting it up. I guess this guy's faster than the other guy. Maybe there's more, or how's that work? For 19, 17, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it works. All I know is it's the game and it does it. <laughs> so anyways, let's carry this on. Let's go... Oh yeah, I was going to put a splitter in. And we need to make some underground belts. And I was making extra belts. See how I got sidetracked? So let's build a bunch more of these guys. Okay, and then we want to make... One, two, three, four. Let's just make a few of those. Uh, let's put this in here. Keep the gun turrets. We got the lamps. Let's put a couple more lamps. So that way we can see. Okay. And how about over here? Nah, okay, now we're okay with that. Okay. So, underground belts. Now, the reason I need this is because I'm going to put one about here. So to do that, you do that, and then you're going to do it right about here, bang, and then we can pick this up like this, and we pick it up with F, and there you go. So now, what it does here, 
So what it does here is it's going to come down along the line here. Uh, it's going to go underneath and go up, which is awesome. And then we're going to take this and we're going to split the stream. Let's split it. Split it. Um, yes, I did. Um, I want to bring the belt up this way, I think. Because I think I can place these dudes. Uh, see, so this belt's in the way. There has to be a way of setting this up. Okay, so before I get too far with this, let's take a look at this stuff here. Okay, so how do I want to deal with this? Of course, some of you are going to go, Oh, do that! You're going to frustrate me so much! Oh, no! Uh, well, <laughs> they don't watch. <laughs> If you want to watch the gameplay, well that's what I'm doing too. I'm just going to try and organize my thoughts a little bit. So basically we need something to put the coal. So maybe, maybe if I put the output as the steel and then the input as the other belt. So let's actually stop this production for the time being. Uh, where am I? I'm on this side here. So it's exactly what I did to the other side. So we'll dismantle this stuff. So we'll just pop at this, like this, and like that. We'll let the, uh, we'll just take this apart, pick it all up. So we'll F to pick up, right? Uh, let's pick this up. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of stuff. Oh, uh, let's pick this guy up. Okay, let's pick this guy up and this one. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Yes, I'm thinking out loud. So, so we want to come up. So maybe we'll take this belt out. Okay, and we'll take this one out. Take it out all the. Oh, cool! You can hold the right click down. So to pick up stuff, it's right click. To place, it's left click. I believe I I said that already, but oh well. So. For output, we can do the long-handed inserters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that works. Now the small guys. Small guys will be the fuel. One. Ooh, or will that work? Or do I have to? Turn them in because unless we do other long, more long handed. So if I go E, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe I am thinking about this the wrong way. So yeah, no, okay, you know, you can't do it like that. Okay. I thought maybe that kind of sucks actually. I thought I'd be able to get a belt up there. Maybe we'll just take these out. Okay. Pick these dudes up. Let's go back to this idea. There we go with that. 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 We'll have to pick this up. I have to replace that up here. Okay. So fuel is going to come up. Well, now let's put the splitter in. That should be here. Okay. And then we curve it upwards. So we go like this, like that. Bang, bang. Oh, why is that? Okay, because I'm not close enough. Uh, okay, so that we got that going up that way. And now to carry on with this stuff we will do the exact same thing this gun we're going to have to pick up we we'll have to replace it over here a little bit I have to put some bullets in it uh, let's see here I want half of these guys okay left click left click perfect gun turns bullets let's pick these up so what I'm doing here now is 
just going with the the one idea I had, and we'll see what happens. If if not, whatever, that's fine. So we need to bring this up. I don't think we need to split it. So we need to bring up the belts. So this is one, two, three away. So one, two. Three, one, two, three, so the fourth one. Fourth, and up we go. Like that, okay. Now we place these guys to insert in. Okay, now we need to extract. We need to put the product somewhere. And where are we gonna put the product? So if I had a box here. I'm just seeing if there's a way I can put these in a box, but you know what? I'm gonna do this very I'm gonna do this the way I'm gonna do this. Doesn't matter. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna do it the ugly way. I can't see it any other way at the moment. Uh, I haven't really watched any YouTube videos on this game. I maybe watched a few of them just to get the idea to see how other people have done their videos and so I figured this is a good game to do the continuous record with as well okay so yeah 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 you know what I think we can do it like this we'll we'll put underground belts here and here and then we'll merge it up into this lane here It'll go a little bit further, but I think it will do the trick very nicely. And it's not making any more research packs. And I don't know if we can finish automation, but that's okay. Uh, this backlog will be almost over. So let's let's try that. Let's put underground to how are we gonna do that? Are we gonna merge in with the splitter? If that's the case, we can do that. Uh, let's try it again. Let's walk up here. Go bang. Maybe do splitter again, maybe. And bang. And this stuff here would be the same idea. No, oh, I gotta pick that up. That way to that. That way. Uh, I I keep forgetting you have to be beside where you want to build it. So we need to build more of these guys. Just a bunch of these. So these transport belts take gears. So maybe we can kind of use the gear automation as a way of creating the, uh, these belts. And then those belts can be used for researching. But one step at a time. And we just made a bunch of, of those belts. Now let's make a bunch of these. Which take a few belts. And we can carry on. So you can almost automate all this kind of stuff that you use on a regular basis to build stuff with, to create belts. Uh, that would kind of be neat. Oh no, that's too close. Too close. Okay, let's try this again. So to do that, we would need splitters. Any more of those guys. And we will... Put it in. So maybe what we'll do is kind of same idea as the other side. Something like that. Now for me things don't need to be symmetrical. Some people that play this game I understand like to have it symmetrical. But personally, where's my belts? I thought I had them. Unless I use them up. But that's odd. Huh. Okay, well, let's build transporter belts. Unless I'm completely blind and here they are. No, I guess I didn't I didn't have any. Huh. Weird. Man. Again, like as I said earlier, this is just so distracting. Let's see what we can pick up here. Okay. We need to get our production going again. 
we're not going to have very many plates, so let's take these. So, bang, bang. Or is it too close? Yeah, okay, never mind. Okay, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to do it like this, actually. You can actually combine trails this way into one. And now what's that? What that's going to do is allow us to take that. And we're going to, to do that, that, take some of those, and we go this way again. I think I have it too close to this, uh, well, this one, but whatever, too late. <laughs> Need more belts. Man, these belts take a lot of iron. Okay. Ah, man, this is starving for iron. <laughs> so now, we, as you see, we got the two trails of fuel. Uh, one for the, the boilers here, one for the other stuff here. Now, if there ever was an emergency situation we needed this, we could always just divert that back into the, the boilers here, right? So, I'm going to finish off connecting this stuff up here. So, what I could do, so with this, because we want to try and merge it in again, we're going to need these splitters very badly. So, we need to work with these splitters somehow. So let's take this all apart here. Now, let's see how we can work in these splitters. I think the track will have to be on the outside. So, for example, we can put it here. No, but it's too close like this. Ah, that sucks. So how do we get around that? Um, yeah, I got too far away from it. Go up like this. Like this. And then we place this. Like that. that okay now we're just kind of it's gonna be very ugly <laughs> uh, like that bang 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 okay yeah this is gonna be just disastrous it's hilarious ah oh, see actually I should have so what, okay, <laughs> sorry, I, I was kind of thinking about this and as I do this, maybe I don't need to verbalize completely everything, because it, it, it makes me sound like a gibbering idiot, but anyways, since this is kind of like my first time doing this kind of a series, I don't need anything coming out the connecting the one, I can actually put them like this, and then what we can do here have this go up uh, it's not letting me hook in the right way never mind okay so maybe we have to trick it a little bit differently maybe you have to do this this so maybe we have to place it first and then we place the splitters one two Or is that not? See, look, look what it did. Okay. Maybe I can't see. Let's pick this stuff up. Okay. Split. No, it connects it, and I don't want that. Okay. So it's the belts doing that. Okay, now we know. I want to finish this before getting off, so this episode might go over a little bit. I, want to, I, I do want to figure this out very badly. So what we will have to do is do what I originally thought. And we'll do this. Actually, we can actually just put the splitter right here. Like that. Because then this belt will go up that way to process. And then we got... So now we have to merge them into that belt. 
So how do we do that? Okay, so we use the one line. Now what this will do, I'm just thinking about it as I'm going, so that's why I kind of pause there. Put it like that, we'll put this belt. Uh, oh, come on, I'm too far away. Put this belt like this. Like this. Bang, okay, perfect, it's working, it's working. I want to put the belt like that. Oh, ha ha ha. To that. Ha ha. I'm lucky that way. Yay. And now it's going into here. And then if you put this belt like this. What's going on here? Oh, is it because it was blocking it? That's pretty funny. So it's going to fit filter up here. Go into here. It's going to split off into here. And... Oh, is this not, this is not looking right. Ah. Uh, I don't want to deal with this right now. This is overwhelming me. Ah. <laughs> okay. I want to finish this project before you leave. At least we got it going and we got production going again. Maybe we'll finish this at the start of the next episode here. Through my derpiness and everything. Oh, it's so funny. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching. You know, I'm not like other YouTubers asking you to do, you know what they ask for. Uh, it's not necessary. <laughs> and I'm going to think about how to fix this. I think it's just in the way I have these guys. I need the two space gap, not the one space gap. And I think that's my problem. But anyways, we'll do that at the start of the next, uh, of the next episode. And yes, you all have a great day. And I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.